Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flix. And what I'm going to be working on today are, um, I've done these before, um, these 70s silhouettes where I've just kind of added some accents to them. And I'm going to tell you what I did this time. First, I'm going to start out with showing you these are supposed to be 15 inch pieces. However, I made them 18 because they're very, very, very thin. And sometimes when you make things like 12 inches and 15 inches, the legs are real, th they're just not very big. So they don't really have what I would say much substance to them. So I made these 18 inches, not 15. Um, and this is what happens when you cut outside of the red circle on your mat. They'll have a, a red guideline for you to print and cut within that. And if you go outside of it, you it won't cut. Um, and then you, I, I've mentioned it on numerous videos that I just cut it out by hand. And that is what I'm doing right here. Right now, I just put away my, my, um, hold on just a minute. I got some other ones going here at the same time. And I'm hoping to get uh, a chance to show you all the different, there's five different pieces, five different um, images that are all back to the 70s. And on all of them, I, and, um, it's pretty easy for me to remember because that was my era. Those were my high school days. Um, well, I graduated in 1970, so I shouldn't say my high school days because I was out of high school in the 70s. Um, but anyway, I remember it clearly. So I was really into all this stuff, guys. I was. I went through the hippie. I went through the disco. Uh, um. I just, I've been through it all, guys. Loved every minute of it. But anyway, uh, it doesn't cut out. So then I just take it and let me make sure this is cutting. This new software, when I did my upgrade, my business key was lost. I finally did hear back from Silhouette. And they gave me instructions to do what I'd already done. And it's like, oh, I just don't have the time for this right now. So I'm just working... Um, just doing what I can do that um, there's certain areas that are annoying but some of the updates that they did is now when I trace something and cut it on my curved knife it is kind of like a gridlock the gridlock when you put something on your mat or however it locks and doesn't move it it, it drops it center I want to say a line the way that it, the machine recognizes it to be aligned and it snaps in place. Um, however, now what they have is the tracing tool. The knife has, I wouldn't call it a grid lock, but that's what they call it anyway. Um, it locks, and so when you're trying to trace, and I do a lot of lining up, and it, you know, because I put something over on top of whatever, and it's, or I'm cutting out a shape around the scarf, for instance. And what was happening with my curve, it would lock in place and cut. It was just horrible, and I did not know what happened. I had gone through every single feature on the software and couldn't find it. Um, finally found it on the actually one of the pages where it has the grid lock there. There's an option to shut it off, so I did, and it's fine. But, but it's a default. So every time I do something and I'm using my knife, I have to go in there and I lock it. Okay, first I'm going to tell you I'm using the 12 by 18 inch paper that you order online on Staples. It's the only one that I know that has, it's a hundred pound and it's really, really heavy. I'm gonna explain something to you here because on a silhouette, you would think that the option would be to print it on black paper, not print it, cut it on black paper because it's solid black with, and then add my accents. What I have found that I do not like is this paper is the heaviest I can find in black, which is, um, from Michael's, it is not nearly as heavy as my white. So I don't like to use this because I could just cut it all out of black and then um, I wouldn't have to print and use all the ink. Well, since I have the Eco Tank and it hardly uses ink anyway, I don't care. I, I would rather do it that way. And the reason I have a white offset around it is because this is white paper in its white core. If I print it black all the way to the edge and cut it out and piece them together, if I'm off, these pieces match up exactly right. However, 
I'm, I'm not going to even give the mathematical reasoning, but when I put sticks in here, the popsicle sticks and the peg, it's not going to fit. One hundred, just like this, it's not going to fit. It, does, it, it It's impossible because the wood is between it and it's shifting the, the paper. And if I cut it out of the solid black, I hope this makes sense, guys. Leave me a comment if you understood what I was saying. If I cut it out of the solid black paper, number one, it isn't as thick. When I go to put the popsicle sticks in it, they're going to show. I would have the white on the front and the white on the back, or it would be all black, solid core black. So none of my shifting of the paper would show at all. But on the thinner paper, the popsicle sticks show and the peg shows. Um, I don't like the way it looks at all, so I prefer the, hot, the, the heavier. I put a white offset to compensate that when I put the sticks in between and it moves, if it's solid black, you're going to see the back of the piece in the front. Like right now when I shift it like this, and the only reason this one is showing, because this started to print out when my printer started goofing up on me again, and I flipped the paper around. But I have to make sure when I put this head together that it matches up perfect because I don't want that part. Even though it's just a hair, let me show you, not much, you can still see it. And I'm black, no, you probably couldn't on here. You can, you, you can see it. So I do the white, so if it doesn't line up perfect and shifts a little on a normal, I should be using this piece as my explanation. This white back, when I line them up, if this is to shift a little bit because of my sticks in here, the back of it is white, so it's not going to show. If it was cut all black, that little bit of white will show, and it'll make your piece look very rough. It doesn't, it doesn't look finished. I don't like it at all, so I print them, and I put a white offset on them when in reality for the offset you could go any color that you wanted if you have an accent color for your party if you wanted to cut it wouldn't even work if you cut, cut them out like let's say a glitter background or a different color background if you want to make them two layers you could do that if you want to do the black do two layers and you uh, make it thicker so the sticks don't show um the being cutting off wouldn't show but anyway that's why i do that um, I hope that makes sense, but I put the white on it because I, I'm designing these and I like the white on it. But you could put any color around it that you wanted. No, I wouldn't do that either because your back is still going to be white. So if it's off, it's still going to show. Chalk that what I just said because that wouldn't work either. You can do whatever you want, but I'm trying to prevent anything looking like it's not done perfect. Um... I'm a, I, I am a perfectionist, and I'm going to tell you, not everything. I'm a perfectionist, but not everything that I do is perfect. Things go out, and they don't go out the way they should. Um, I don't, I, I couldn't elaborate on to his why. You know, things happen, and, and we're all human, and make mistakes. Oh, I might as well tell you what I'm doing. On all of these, I went in and picked out something to accent with. I could have print this out, cut it separately, and layered it. However... It was cutting and everything looked better to just cut it, print and cut all in one. Um, and then I'm going to do the glittering and adding my accents to it. So on her, I'm going to put gold hoop earrings. Um, I went in to, to Google and looked up the 70s clothing and, and, and apparel just to make sure. I, I was pretty certain that I had it because I worked in the fashion industry um, through college um, and was going to go on because I always thought it'd be awesome to be uh, to be a fashion designer. Um, however, uh, that was not in the cards. <laughs> Probably didn't. Uh, no, that wasn't in the cards. It just didn't happen. I met my husband, moved to Venezuela, and and. Uh, Ended up being a stay-at-home mom um, for, for the first years. Now, I'm just going to add accents everywhere to this little kerchief she has on. I grabbed pieces that I remember wearing, um, or the ideas, because I, I remember, uh, oh my gosh, guys, I think about the, some of the things that I wore and when I went through my hippie days. And I wore the great big bell-bottom hip hugger pants, and they the the in thing was that they were um, dragged on the ground, um, 
and, and I can't remember the name of the sandals. I want to say Hirachi, and I think that might be right. Um, that was a big thing. And you got them wet, and they molded to your feet. That was even the case back in the 60s and 70s, guys. But um, the the shoes, like, <laughs> look at these these shoes. I'm tall. Well, sort of tall. I'm not short. Um, and... I would wear the biggest platforms I could find. I nearly had to climb a ladder to get into my shoes. Oh my gosh, they were so high. And when I moved to Venezuela, I took them with, with me. And this is not a comment that I'm going to make that I would, I, I pray to God no, would find, no one would find offensive because they don't mean it like that at all. At all. I probably shouldn't even say it because the way things have been going anymore, everybody gets offended by everything. But anyway, when I lived in Venezuela, I was even taller than, than I was here because the just, um, the Venezuelan have a, a different average of size. And like all my sister in laws and everybody, my friends and everybody down there, they were all short. My nieces that are from there, my sister in law, all of them, not short, their average height there but they would be considered shorter um, here. And so I came with the biggest shoes that known to man when I moved down there. And I looked like a, a Amazon woman when I would go anywhere and I would wear these shoes because they were grossly tall. Um, I'm surprised they didn't fall off them and break my neck. But number one, I, I was blonde tall and wore some outfits that really made a statement. Not sure what that statement was. However, talk about, talk about drawing attention. I, I don't know. I don't mean that in a good way either, guys, when I think back. I don't, not saying, oh, everybody thought, oh, look at that gringa. I look like a freaking Amazon woman. I never felt tiny and petite and, and, um, I didn't feel like I fit in. Um, it, 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 I didn't like that when we lived down there. I didn't like that because um, I would get a lot of, I don't know. At that time, I thought we're gawking stares, but I think it was probably people more thinking, oh my God, look how tall that woman is. Well, it wasn't that I was so, so tall. So my shoes, they might've been talking about my shoes. I don't know. Um, and I'm probably 100% wrong with everything I'm saying right now anyway. But for those of you that understand me and have known me and followed me, I would never say anything to, I should say on purpose, I would never say anything to be offensive to anybody. That's not my style. But um, anyway, that's what I was going to tell you with these, making these, these, going back to this era, it's like, I remember those days so well. They were freaking awesome. I mean, I had, I worked, I would paint little daisies on my cheekbone. I had my hair pinned straight, and I used to iron it <laughs> I, on my ironing board. We didn't have flat irons and things like that, so I literally laid my hair out, laid my head down on the ironing board, and ironed my hair. I think about these things, and I think, oh, my God. You know, when, when you wanted to achieve something, because it had to be straight. Then I'd wear these big floppy hats and and uh, the bell bottoms that dragged down the ground and were all shredded and oh uh, those were the days though guys I loved it, um, but so looking at some of this stuff and some of these pants and and clothes these head things that we wore around our heads and the peace signs and all of that. Uh, I used to wear earrings. I'm surprised my earlobes don't hang to my shoulders with some of the earrings I wore. And rings, I still wear a lot of rings. I like rings. I have very, very, very large hands. Very large hands. Um, my ring size is a nine, which that, I have big hands. I have farmer hands. Um, and again, I didn't mean that, but I would have been good at mucking the cows. Guys, just take it for what it's worth. It's me. Um, but... Uh, I the earrings and, and the necklaces and all of that, everything had to go together. You didn't had to match. You didn't match. 
Okay, I got her kerchief all decorated up with the glitter and I put gold on her hoops. She has got to dry. And one of them I had cut out and done the shoes, the platforms. I am not going to do that on her, but what I think I might do, um, I think maybe I will take a little, add just a little bit to her shoes. Let me think back then, everything goes. We're gonna do kind of an orangey copper color uh, platform. That's kind of what I think I had. I don't remember the things I do remember. It looks like that this one had some, oh, these are boots. These aren't even shoes, guys. Oh yeah, gotta do them. They're shoes. We're gonna make, or they're boots. They're tall boots. I also had a pair of boots in this era and they laced up the front and they were navy blue canvas. Oh, there's certain things you just don't ever get out of your mind. And I wore hot pants with my lace-up boots and uh, the crop tops. Oh, my gosh. And sometimes when I look at some things that kids wear, I think, oh, my God. Why, why would I... Um, the things that I used to wear, wear were, were... No wonder my mother... <laughs> grieved so much raising me. There was her only girl and I was a defiant. I wasn't a I wasn't a bad girl, guys. Don't take me wrong. I was I was golden compared to most that I even hear about when they were young. Um, I was a, a parent's dream. I never did anything wrong. I just dressed very um, should we call it stylish? I'll call it stylish. I think I was stylish. And the hotter the pants, oh boy, that was such a thing back then. Well, they are pretty much now, too. And the hip huggers. So sometimes when I hear comments about some of the things that people wear now, um, our hip huggers were so low. I, I could have a comment, I would say, but I'm not going to because it would be out of character for me to say what I'm thinking. But, um, you know, between the top and the bottom of my pants, there was about this much to them. It was just like a strap of fabric or something. But, and I'd have my scarves on and my bandanas and, oh, the whole ball of wax. I just uh, reconnected with a girl I went to high school with. It was our middle school, high school, and was one of my really, really dear friends. It moved away my junior year. And I think about her all the time because I stayed in touch for a while. Then when I moved to Venezuela, um, I lost touch completely with anybody from high school. And... Facebook, no matter how much anybody criticizes it, Facebook is a great tool when when uh, it's not used for airing your dirty laundry. But I reconnected with her, and I was like, oh, my God, I missed and thought about her so often. I told her, I said, she's one of the rare people that I really, really wished I hadn't. I did that completely wrong, guys. So I'm going to put it on top of that lid, and then we're going to call that... Oh, I glittered my box. Um, but I did that completely wrong. There we go. Okay. And I'm just kind of filling in a little bit on it just to get the gist. And I decided, since I was talking laces, I decided to lace. These are my dream boots. Because I had them. She doesn't have hot pants. Oh, she might have a mini skirt on. No, she's got leggings or some sort of. I think back in my day, we called them stretch pants. And I had pants. I remember bright orange pair and yellow flower ones. And I had a dress once that was, um, I wore it to the first day of school in high school. And it was a striped dress in fluorescent orange, fluorescent yellow, and black. Um, and you needed to have sunglasses on it. Well, like it wasn't bright enough I decided to top it off with a pair of bright orange. At that time, they were called tights. Um, <laughs> and I wore it to the first day of school. Uh, it was part of my new back to school wardrobe. And I felt so uncomfortable in that outfit the whole entire day because I felt like I glowed in the dark and that it was just way too much. I never wore it again. And I 
probably thinking back if I would have toned it down and not, not worn the orange tights, it probably would not have been so. Um, I don't remember, but I'm going to have to, to kind of, in my defense for not wearing it again, I think there's a real good chance that somebody was probably made a comment to me or something. Nobody back then was mean like they are. They can be nowadays when I hear some things that people say blows my mind, but um, I was, believe it or not, very, sens very sensitive. I don't come off to be sensitive, but back then I was. So there we go. Now she's got some boots that are made for walking. So when I get these, I got to let them all dry out. And I had my granddaughter, Mila, for a couple minutes this morning when my daughter ran out. And I let her come in here with me because I was going to try and get all these printed out to have them ready. Uh, which was a big mistake. She tore the place apart and I'm trying to recover this. And guys, I'm doing this between because you know what? I've had people ask me, not one time, numerous times, if I would please um, show something while I'm printing, how it comes off the printer. Now I'm not going to, I think I, oops, I may have done a video at one point that um, I showed my printing in the whole bit, which I'm not doing now. It looks like everything is off on that. It's not working. And I'm not going to restart now. Okay, now with her, what I did, she's got bell bottoms on and she's got the the, uh, what did what I say they're called? Um, <laughs> I just said it and now I forgot. Cause anyway, uh, and then I put a head piece on her and a pair of uh, what we call John Lennon glasses and a gold chain with a beast sign on it. So again, it wasn't overkill, just a little bit. And I'm going to glitter it in. I have to restart my modem just about, well, not just about, every day. I have to restart my modem to get a connection. I know in a video back, a couple back, I was talking about how many how many problems I was having with my my printer or my software and everything else, and a lot of it is just my modem. Um, for some reason, my printer just can't seem to stay connected and I'm not moving the modem up here. So I just go and reset it every day. My husband says to me yesterday, don't you do that like two or three times a day? I said, no, once a day. He said, no, it's more than once a day. And he doesn't like it because when I reset it, if he's in the middle of watching something, um, it shuts everything down. He's got to wait for it to come back on. I said, well, you know, it's okay. You can live with it. Okay. Somebody asked me, on a video I did yesterday, or put put up yesterday, what do I use for glitter? I use stickles. I love stickles. I've used Nuvo as well. Um, Nuvo, I'm not crazy about. They're okay. Um, I went, I should have done these at the same time. Duh. Um, I went yesterday to order my, my new, I needed some. Believe it or not, I'm running out of glitter. Um, colors. And they don't have them anyway. So, I don't know why I even bother because... It just, it seems like you, the stores or whoever you're getting it from, have whatever's available at that time, whoever's a manufacturer of the stickles. But anyway, um, so that's what I use. You, I go to scrapbookpal.com. I probably shouldn't tell the stores I buy them from because maybe that's why they never <laughs> have what I need. My And that's why my paper went up double that, that I use it um, from Staples because it's dem demand, you know, whatever... It drives the price, and now the paper that used to be like 19 something or 20 bucks for a package of 250 sheets is now 49, I think it is, or 39, something like that. But it's at least doubled what I was paying. Um, I put hot pink glasses on her, but of course, I'm not going to do her glasses um, in pink glitter, but I am going to put the gold that was for the eyepiece or the not the eyepiece, the ear things. The earwigs. Okay, I do want to put a circle around these though because they did have a little bit of a frame. I'm going to put a gold frame around the glasses. 
John Lennon glasses. I think I said that at the beginning. That's what they were called in my day. John Lennon glasses of the Beatles. I wonder how much of my, many of my audience have never heard of the Beatles. I'm watching, um, oh, I'm going to put gold on the necklace. Now, I don't want to completely cover up the link of the necklace. However, I do want it to stand out the gold. So all I'm doing is dotting, just little tiny dots um, around the chain. Then I am going to use hot pink on the peace sign. My kids are all coming over this afternoon to go swimming and, and cook out. So I'm going to have, I will have all my grandkids here this afternoon. My two new ones. And um, I am getting my hair colored today silver, which I said I would never, ever, ever do. And I've been looking it up and seeing a lot of them. And a lot that I see... I love now whether or not I'm going to like it for me is another story but I'm getting it done silver so my mission is is having long silver hair so it may you may not ever see it because if I don't like it it will be silver for a day but my daughters had theirs done kind of an ashy, that the gray, they had a picture of how they wanted it. Of course, theirs didn't come out the way the picture did, but I don't expect mine to ever come out like the picture did. Now, on this guy, what I did, white shoes were a big thing back then. My husband had white shoes. And I did his cuffs and the big collars. Those were a big thing back then. So I did them in a pinstripe. But it barely, barely, barely shows. So what I'm going to do on the cuffs here is I'm just going to use, it's gray and white, the, the pinstripes that I did on here. And I'm just going to very thinly make a few to kind of see, so that when you look at it close up, you can see that it's striped. Now, the stripe in the collar did show. I, I tried to... Um, size them on my software and I can tell that this video is probably going to be way too long although some of you say you don't care how long they are and so because I still have two more whoops whoop, whoop, whoop. see how I'm coloring my box it's working I just went offline so this one's stripe don't doesn't show at all. Okay. So I'm gonna have to bake this one pretty good. Oh, and I tell you the shipping for things is hor horrific. That um I ordered some things off of Amazon and they're never late. But my stuff didn't come that I was so excited about yesterday and it never came. So I was kind of bummed, and then I got a notification from today they're running late, but my my orders are running late. They say they're going to be there on Thursday, and they don't get there till the next week. So anybody that um, orders from me, uh, make sure you allow ample time because um, any X I got one, this actually has to go out FedEx and next day. That's the only way they'll get it to it on time is if you do next day, and it costs you more than your order. But anyway, I'm going to stop for now, and I will come back when I go to do more. But thank you for watching, and um, let me know about if you understood what I was saying about the white paper. Okay? Oh, by the way, I got my watch going, except now I'm in the wrong spot. I got it finally synced up. I had to start all over again, but I got it to work. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.